Hi, I'm Mrs. Trenier, and I teach music at John Rogers Elementary. I miss the John Rogers community very much, and I'm so excited to be able to share music lessons with you this way. I'm also at home with my family and my pets and taking walks around my neighborhood. This is a rhythm lesson where we will warm up our bodies and our minds, we will share a story together, and we will make and play our very own instruments. For this lesson, you will need two pieces of wood. That could be two wooden spoons, two chopsticks, or like I'm going to use, two pencils. Make sure and ask if it's okay before you use these things. You will also need something plastic. That could be a plastic bin, a plastic bucket, or even a plastic food container. Make sure it's clean. You'll also need a cardboard box of some kind. That could be a shoe box, a cereal box. Any kind of a package box will work great. I'll give you a moment to get your materials. Have you been spotting teddy bears and other stuffies peeking out of windows lately? Lots of families have been finding them around their neighborhood. So right now is a perfect time to do a stuffy hunt. This is a repeat after me song. So I have a friend who's agreed to help. This is Ollie the Otter. Say hi, Ollie. So I'll say the words and do the actions and you repeat them after me, okay? Okay. And you can say the words with Ollie. Going on a stuffy hunt. Going on a stuffy hunt. We might find a lot of them. We might find a lot of them. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. We're not scared. Uh-oh, grass. Uh-oh, grass. Long, wavy grass. Long, wavy grass. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh, no. We have to go through it. Swish. Going on a stuffy hunt. Going on a stuffy hunt. We might find a lot of them. We might find a lot of them. What a beautiful day. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. We're not scared. Uh oh, a puddle. A big cold puddle. Uh oh, a puddle. Big cold puddle. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go over it. Can't go under it. Oh no! We have to go through it. Splish, 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 splish. Do you think you could do Ollie's part on your own now? Sure you can. Going on a stuffy hunt. We might find a lot of them. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Uh-oh, mud. Thick, oozy mud. Uh-oh, mud. Thick. Oozy mud. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we have to go through it. <laughs> Going on a stuffy hunt. We might find a lot of them. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh no, 
come into a forest. A deep, dark forest. Uh-oh, a forest. A deep, dark forest. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. We can't go over it. We can't go under it. Oh no, we've got to go through it. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Going on a stuffy hunt. We might find a lot of them. What a beautiful day. We're not scared. Oh no, coming to a sidewalk. A long gray sidewalk full of cracks. Don't step on any cracks. Tip, toe, tip, walk, toe. Uh-oh, a building. A big, tall building with a big, tall window. Look up, what do you see? One little black nose. Two furry ears. Two shiny black eyes. One big furry body. It's a stuffy! Let's wave hi! Now how do we get back? Oh yeah, back down the sidewalk. Don't step on any cracks. Tiptoe, tiptoe, tiptoe. Back through the forest, the deep dark forest. Stumble, trip, stumble, trip, stumble, trip. Back through the mud. Back through the big cold mud puddle. Splash, splash, splish, splash, splish, splash. Back through the long, tall grass. Swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy, swishy, swashy. Run home, get to the door, open the door, run inside, close the door. Jump in bed. <sighs> that was fun. Hey, Ollie, do you think we should put a stuffy in our window? Good idea. It's fun to find surprises, isn't it? For our read aloud today, I have a book about a boy who does some surprising things with something he finds. It's called Max Found Two Sticks. Max Found Two Sticks by Brian Pinckney. To Andrea, who inspires me to hear life's music, BP. It was a day when Max didn't feel like talking to anyone. He just sat on his front steps and watched the clouds gather in the sky. A strong breeze shook the tree in front of his house and Max saw two heavy twigs fall to the ground. What are you going to do with those sticks? Max's grandpa asked as he washed the front windows. Not saying a word, Max tapped on his thighs. Putter, pat, pat. His rhythm imitated the sound of the pigeons startled into flight. When Max's mother came home carrying new hats for his twin sisters, she asked, What are you doing with Grandpa's cleaning bucket, son? Max responded by patting the bucket. Tap, 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 tippy tip, tap, tap. He created the rhythm of the light rain falling against the front windows. After a while, the clouds moved on and the sun appeared. Cindy, Sean, and Jamal showed up drinking sodas. Hey, Max, what you doing with those hat boxes? Again, Max didn't answer. He just played on the boxes. Dum, dum, de dum, diddy, diddy, dum, dum. Max drummed the beat of the tom toms in a marching band. What are you up to with those soda bottles? His dad asked as he brought out the garbage cans on his way to work. Max answered on the bottles. <coughs> dong, dong, dong. Dong, dong, dong. 
Ding dong ding. His music joined the chiming of the bells in the church around the corner. Soon the twins came out to show off their new hats. Hey, Max, they asked, what are you doing with those garbage cans? Max hammered out a reply on the cans. <coughs> cling, clang, da bang. A cling, clang, da bang. Max pounded out the sound of the wheels thundering down the tracks under the train on which his father worked as a conductor. Suddenly, Max heard thump, diddy, thump, thump, diddy, thump, as a marching band rounded the corner. Max watched the drummers with amazement as they passed, copying their rhythm. The last drummer saw Max. Then, with a nod and a wink, he tossed Max his spare set of sticks. Thanks, called Max, and he didn't miss a beat. Like Max in Max Found Two Sticks, Brian Pinckney enjoys creating his own music. Since the age of eight years old, he has played the drums. He still keeps a set of drumsticks in his studio, where, when resting from his illustrations, he sometimes taps out rhythms on the back of his chair. What kind of sounds did Max hear in our book? Let's remember. I remember he heard some rain falling. He heard some birds flying. He heard his dad's train and he heard a marching band. That's just a few of the things I remember. What kind of sounds do you hear around your neighborhood? Hmm. Let's think about the way that Max used things he found to make sounds. Like what kind of things do you remember him using? With his two sticks, he hit his body, some boxes, some bottles, some cans. Max showed us that it's not very hard to make some very creative sounds out of things you can find around your own house. Now's a good time to go gather your materials. Let's start with Max's two sticks. The first way he used them was on his legs. Do you remember that? He made the sound of the birds that went Pat, 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 putter, putter, pat, pat. Try it with me on your legs, gently. You don't want to hurt yourself. Pat, 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 putter, putter, pat, 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 putter, putter, pat, pat. One more time. Pat, 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 putter, putter, pat, pat. Nice job. Now you can use your plastic bucket or bin to play the rhythm that Max played that he heard in the sound of the rain falling on the window. Remember, that went tap, 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 tippy, tip, tat, tat. Tap, 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 tippy, tip, tat, tat. Let's try it together slowly. Tap, 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 tippy, tip, tat, tat. Tap, 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 tippy, tip, tat, tat. Now let's try just whispering the words. And now no words at all. And for our last instrument, your box can be the part of Max playing on the hat boxes. He's playing the sound of a marching band in his head. Do you remember that? The tom-tom part that went dum, dum, dee, dum, dee, 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 dum, dum. I really like that part. Let's try it slowly together.
And now, no words at all. You could try mixing Max's three ideas together to make a new pattern. Like if he started with his putter, pat, pat, and then went to his rain pattern, like tippy, tippy, tap, pat. And pat. then to his box pattern, diddy, diddy, dum, dum, you have a new pattern. Let's try it together. Putter, pat, pat, tippy, tippy, tap, 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 diddy, diddy, dum, dum. Let's try it again. He sound amazing! And one bonus instrument that Max didn't try because you don't need two sticks for it. I found some sprinkles and some peppercorns and they make really cool shakers. I bet you could find something that shakes. Thank you for making music with me today. I hope you liked our stuffy hunt and tips on making instruments from things you can find where you live. I hope to see you again very soon. Bye for now.